Hello everybody, welcome back, Waterman Customs here, and I'm going to show you some uh, quick tips and tricks using GoPro footage, the 360, excuse me. I'm learning new things with this uh, GoPro 360 and the whole editing process, learning new stuff every day. Okay, so one of the main things I've figured out today is that you cannot import 360 footage to Premiere. You actually have to export to MOV file through the GoPro player before you can bring it into Premiere. Now, later on, Premiere might uh, create some sort of uh, preset or it might recognize these .360 files, but as of right now, the Adobe Premiere does not recognize the 360 files. It doesn't even give it to you as an option to import it. So watch, if I come over here and try to drag, file format not supported. Uh, this could get fixed at a later date, but it's probably a way of GoPro ensuring that you use their proprietary file formatting, file premiering, file editing software, all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here and I'll open up the correct folder here. Let's close this one. Okay, so as you see, uh, the 360 was a unsu unsupported file format. And also if I try to open it up here, it won't, it won't let me. I'm trying to click on it, not working. Okay, so, but you see this one, this MOV, I went into the GoPro editing, the GoPro player, and I export it to MOV. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Okay, so we have uh, this 360 footage. This one's a really short file. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export it. So we, we have it here. And what I'm going to do, you, there's a couple ways. Easiest way is just come up here, File, Command-E, Export. Here you go. We're going to call this one Walking to the Beach. OK. Be patient as it renders. And this is why I was talking about in the previous video, you really want to cut out any unnecessary footage, especially if you're going to do editing in another program, because you're going to have to export all this stuff out from the GoPro player before you can even touch it in Premiere. And I haven't tried in iMovie yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same because iMovie is nowhere near as powerful as Premiere is. So uh, that will be a little field test for another day. So as you see, here's the GoPro file 106, and it's that .360. And here is the MOV file. I'm going to drag and drop. Boom. And you have to say boom when you do it. OK, so now I'm going to bring this to the timeline, right? You got your equirectangular shot. This stuff is super cool. I love it. OK, I'm going to come in. I'm going to hit this editing tab so I can change my workspace. If you notice, if I scale it out, you get the equirectangular, okay? And that's something I wanted to kind of pin on, is that sometimes sharing the footage like this is really cool. I'm going to mute this. It looks really cool, and maybe you want to keep that, and maybe you want to explore with that. Now, if you notice, it's super, because of the sun and... Uh, the light rays being broken up underwater. It's really bright right here, and then it gets darker. There's stitching that happens. And because of the super wide angle on the front and the back lens, there's areas like a panoramic where it gets stitched. And you can see it here too. There's stitching. There's these stitch lines. And so I've found that with the GoPro Max, to get rid of most of the stitch lines, oh, that's super cool you need to hold the camera directly in front of yourself, um, at least while you're surfing. So if you're, if you're catching footage of like the city, it might not matter, but to avoid nasty stitch lines, 
uh, you really want to keep the camera like straight in front of you because otherwise if you have to if the money shot of the person surfing so let me go back let me pull up a clip where, um, where I'm actually surfing okay so like let's pull this one, one at a time why see here's a stitching line right up here in this corner you can see where the handle is. There's another stitching line. See how it's my face is all weird looking? It's kind of funny though. But uh, if you're trying to be serious, which I'm hardly ever trying to be serious, you would probably want to change the camera there. But if you notice, once I pop, pop the holder out of my mouth, I have a little mouthpiece that I put on there. Uh, it's actually a mouth guard. And then I took an old coat hanger and wrapped it around the, the screw. Once it, once I pull the camera out of my mouth, the stitching is fine. It, it doesn't mess up the shot composition. But you notice how I'm holding the camera straight in front of me. If I was holding it off to the side, I would have to pan and it would change the angle. See this stitch right here where my hand is too, kind of chopping off my fingers? Well, who cares? That's, you know, devil's in the details and, you know, overall, still super cool. Um, so keep in mind about, you know, where your stitch lines are. Keep in mind about getting rid of this pesky uh, water beads. Still haven't perfected getting rid of those things yet. I think part of it is because I put it in my mouth when I'm paddling and I don't dip it as I'm going to catch the wave. Um, or there's just, when I'm paddling, this other water just, just gets on there. I mean, sometimes you just you can't, can't avoid it. Just can't avoid it. So that's the main thing I wanted to explain today. I just want to show you guys, uh, you can't start editing your 360 footage in Premiere, you actually have to go in and you have to export it as an MOV from the GoPro player as of today. And that's July 13th, 2021. Now, Adobe might have some sort of update at a later time where it can automatically read the 360 footage, but uh, they have made no uh, announcement of such information. And I hope this little tutorial helps you out. Feel free to leave comments in the section below. And also, um, same thing if you're using iMovie. I don't think iMovie will read the 360 footage. And I don't think uh, other, like Final Cut, is going to read it. But you could try. Leave a comment below. Let me know. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you. Have a good one.